in a vision, I saw someone carrying a sack, carrying a sack on the back, and the sack was, was heavy. And what happened in that vision was that before that time, the Lord had given you an instruction. He had given you a word to carry that burden for him. You have been a burden bearer for the Lord. And you were almost giving up. And this individual was almost giving up. And I know that this individual is representative of a, a group of people. And I saw this person almost giving up. And the Lord is sending you a word of encouragement to, to hang in there and to hold on to that burden that he has given you to carry before now. As a burden bearer, you have borne this burden. You have borne many burdens for the Lord in the place of prayer. And it seems as though the end is not in sight. It seems as though the burden that you have carried is, is just something you're going to carry for the rest of your life. The Lord says no. He says no because the end is in sight. And he's sending you this word of encouragement to hang in there, to hang on, and to keep bearing that burden for the Lord. And he also says, because you have carried his burdens, he would also carry your burdens. There are many burdens that many have, have had to carry in life and many will have to carry in life that you will not have to carry because you have borne upon your shoulders the burden of the Lord. You have traveled and traveled in the place of prayer. You have borne the burden of the Lord for a nation. You have borne the burden of the Lord for a people. The Lord says, do not give up now. Hang in there. Because the end is in sight. And he also promises, because you have carried this burden for me. There are many burdens in life that you will never have to carry. There are many burdens in life that you will not have to experience because I have dealt with them. I have taken them out of the picture. You have borne burdens in the place of prayer and you have traveled in prayer for Nigeria. You have traveled in prayer for other nations. You have traveled in prayer for a people. You have traveled in prayer for churches. You have traveled in prayer for believers, for, for many who have not known the Lord to turn to the Lord. You have borne burdens for families that are not yours. You have borne burdens for people that were not related to you by blood. The Lord says, keep doing that work of an intercessor. Keep bearing those burdens. I am the rewarder. Keep bearing those burdens. Out of you, I am not only making a burden bearer, but out of you, I, I am making a brazen wall. You become impenetrable to several attacks that the enemy would want to throw in your direction. Because I'm building from you a formidable structure that will outlast your enemies. A formidable structure that will withstand the wiles of the devil. And he says, hang in there. Thank you, Jesus.